Hi, Craig Birch here from Tenable. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Tenable AD to find, fix, and prevent dangerous Kerberos delegations in your AD environment. One of the most common abused misconfigurations in Active Directory is dangerous Kerberos delegations. This also happens to be the most common vulnerability that I find in customer environments. In the simplest form, this allows for the stealing of credentials using impersonation, either from computers configured for unconstrained delegation or privileged accounts not being protected from delegation. Let's jump into the Tenable for AD platform and see what we see in there. So as we can see, we jumped into Tenable for AD platform. We're in the indicators of exposure tab and we're looking at the dangerous Kerberos delegation IOE or vulnerability. As you can read, if an attacker is able to compromise such a server, he or she will be able to steal and re reuse the credentials of all users authenticating on this particular server. If it's an administrator connects to the compromised machine, the attacker will be able to escalate his or her privileges and become the administrator as well. Let's see how Tenable for AD identifies these dangerous Kerberos delegations in your Active Directory. Let's click on the Deviant Objects tab. So Tenable AD has gone out and did the initial scan of your Active Directory and has found the vulnerability called dangerous Kerberos delegation and found these objects associated to this vulnerability. The first one being a computer object and the second one being a user object. The first one is a computer object that has been set up for unconstrained delegation. Basically the HR server here has been set up for unconstrained delegation and is not an active directory domain controller. Only active directory domain controllers really should be configured in this manner. If you need to do computer account delegation, you could be, you should be using constraint based at the services or protocol. The second one is we have an account, Casey Baggett. She's part of the account operators group, but she's not in the protected users group, nor has a, a attribute been set on her account that prevents her from being delegated against as well. So if we jump over to the recommendations tab, and let's do that, you'll see that the first one here is going to be about that privileged user that has not been protected from delegation. And we can actually address this in two ways. We can put them in the protected users group, or we can actually go to the user account control and set account as sensitive and cannot be delegated. The second one we talked about is that unconstrained computer delegation and going in and looking at this, it tells us to go in the Active Directory, user computers, go to the delegation tab and set it to protocol or services based, or the other option is we can simply turn it off. So let's see how easy it is to follow the remediation guidance provided to you by Tenable for AD. The first one we'll, we're gonna go in and look at is Casey Baggett. So we opened up our Active Directory user's computer and we go in and we identified Casey Baggett as being vulnerable to dangerous Kerberos delegation in the recommendation remediation guidance is to open up the user account control tab and mark the account is sensitive. It cannot be delegated checkbox and hit apply. That second one we talked about is the HR server where it told us to open up Active Directory, users computers, go to that delegation tab and either set it to services or protocol based, but for demonstration purposes, we're simply going to turn it off. Now let's go back into the Tenable for AD platform and see what we've seen under the dangerous Kerberos delegation. If we refresh that Deviant Objects tab, 
you can immediately see that those two objects are no longer vulnerable to the dangerous Kerberos delegation. And we were able to pick this up in real time. So now I was able, able to easily follow the remediation guidance and take this particular vulnerability out of my Active Directory environment and shore up my security. So now that we've cleaned it up, we need to make sure that we don't allow new ones to come in. So actually, let's see what Tenable AD will do if a new vulnerability is detected in regards to dangerous Kerberos delegation. So let's jump back into the Active Directory user compute, computers. And now we're going to go to Chuck Norris and we're going to add him as a member of the account operators. Now we're going to jump back into our Tenable for AD platform and see how we detect that moving forward. As you can see, Tenable AD picked up Chuck Norris as vulnerable to the dangerous Kerberos delegation. And we flagged him because he's a member of that account operators group and he does not have that flag checked in his environment. We can actually see this also came in as an alert into our system, but we can also send this into your environment either via email or if you're using a SIM, we can also forward this into your um, SOC via syslog into your SIM. The other thing that we can do is actually click on this not protected from del against delegation tab and actually open up the trail flow with Intentable for AD and look at what this looks like in trail flow. So let's go ahead and do that. You can see that we have basically a deviant object for Chuck Norris and he's set up for not being protected from this dangerous Kerberos delegation. So what did we see here? We saw that Tenable AD can actually help you find those dangerous Kerberos delegations, fix those dangerous Kerberos delegations, and keep your environment clean from new ones from coming into your AD environment by preventing them. Mm -hmm.